Okay, we can. Do you want to go, sir? Yeah, I have The three words became so uh, more uh, uh, defined by the personalities of the people who were using it. And that to me was very important and what I hoped would happen. The other thing that was uh, so good is this beginning with the appropriation thing. That really is something I find very uh, uh, difficult to uh, even discuss because it's such a broad, big, fat word that's been thrown around so much and I feel that uh, when talking about how it applies to what we're doing now is very different than it was before. What came out of that for me was the idea that uh, we have whatever we do as human beings, we appropriate everything we do. I don't care if it was from the beginning when I was learning how to, uh, you know, brush my teeth or whatever, how you uh, interacted with it was your own thing, which is very authentic. And, uh, you know, whatever application you came up with was what you had to do to either get through the class or get the grade or to move on to the next. And it's during that whole process that it really opened up for you having that experience. I am a photographer, um, but my work is more in, in the conceptual realm and it absolutely has to do with appropriation in terms of what I'm taking photographs of and how I'm printing them, how I'm putting them together, how I'm using them. So on, on many different levels uh, I'm involved with appropriation and, uh, and it's all digital. It's a digital camera. I work in Photoshop, I'm all, and I'm using a digital printer, so it's all digital all the time. Uh, is appropriation something that is in, that I use in my own artwork? And I would say no, um, in the sense that I make abstract paintings. I'm not really interested in images, so in that case I'm not borrowing them from other sources. I do reference other artists in my work and I think that's something that adds elements and layers and depth to my own practice but also to the interpretation of that. Uh, I use digital technology. I have an iPhone. I take lots of pictures. Uh, I don't really know what to do with these pictures, but um, I do reproduce my own artwork and I think digital technology I mean, video cameras, cell phones, uh, computers are really a fantastic opportunity to uh, enlarge and uh, expand uh, uh, information and a way of uh, communicating. So uh, that's why that's what that's why I feel about digital technology. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Appropriation. Well, I was a painter for. 30 odd years, I guess. And then I be, uh, became an aerial photographer because it was more fun and I could use my airplane. And, um, and I must say that it's been very gratifying and appropriation is everything in my work because every time I take a picture I'm appropriating what all those people on the earth have done for me. All my photos have indications of human presence. The evidence of human activity is, is um, very interesting to me and I never, never tire of discovering it. Excellent. Now, do you want to say anything about the digital revolution? The digital revolution. I detest this age. <laughs> um, I'm a photographer, and I would say the act of photography kind of inherently is about appropriation, because it's, it's basically about recording things that are happening in front. Um, and it's interesting, my students, who are like three or four generations earlier, are very interested in the dark room. 
And I think it's because they want, they sort of realize this may be going away, but I think they also, they just want to have both at their disposal, just like I do, as many tools as possible. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're, we're analogous in terms of our experience. Yeah, and our, our more or less our age group. Yes, exactly. We're gonna, I was trying to say that uh, <laughs> politely, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank you, okay, Louis. Sure. Okay, thank you. You, do you feel like appropriation has been, to some degree, a part of your art practice? Oh, ab absolutely. Uh, it, not, not just in what I practice, but in what I'm taught. Your attitude about the digital revolution? I love it. Uh, my, I have children. And in order to relate to the digital revolution, I have to re relate to younger people. Uh, it saved a tremendous amount of money for a lot of people this digital process. And I look at my devices, such as my computer, my iPad, and my phone, as external hard drives uh, for, for information more than anything. But we saw the same thing we said in 1984 when we first learned about computers. Garbage in, garbage out. You still have to be able to produce um, appropriate or new things um, more than ever. The word appropriation. That appropriation isn't necessarily appropriate. <laughs> uh, the intention of the original meaning of the word is now pretty much enmeshed in pretty much everything that pretty much everyone does, yes. Implying that the word as it was originally used was pretty narrowly defined. Yes. And it's gotten defined broader and broader. Absolutely. Wait, what was that other word? The other A word? Oh, authenticity. Yeah. Well, totally false okay. concept that no longer exists. Okay, now we can go on to the next thing. I just need to get that in there. Uh, yeah, and um, I am always continually disturbed by film that's edited so that the talking head does all the talking and that mm. there's no conversation. I'm much more interested in, in the dialogue mm -hmm. than in the um, talking head. So hopefully you'll, you'll leave some of that in there. Right. Well, I, I will. I'm, Good. This is like the photographer that doesn't want to have their picture taken. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs>